All right, scuba bat Dan here. I'm going to try and walk you guys through the actual rolling of the mesh and creating the wick for the scuba gen version 3. First thing you're going to do is take some water. I use a nice Pyrex container. Got the water boiling. Drop my mesh in there and it's probably been about 10 minutes because I've been busy trying to set everything up. So it's, it's still hot. Yeah, let me get this out of here. Okay, that really helped. <laughs> what else can I throw in here? Okay, anyway. Let me get that out. Okay, take one for the team. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. Now we have our mesh, obviously. It is cut three quarters of an inch wide by four inches long. Nice pretty mesh. Okay, what you're going to do is take the mesh and you're going to fold a quarter of it, one quarter of an inch, eight to a quarter, just as long as it's folded over. These steel rulers are like indispensable. Love them. Alright, now we just kind of press. Now I got my little edge I can fold up. just like that. So now we're going to do is turn it around. We're going to pretty much do the same thing, only we're going to shoot for like a real, real small little piece of it. Because what this will do is it'll give us a channel to put the wire in. So about right there. Press, bring it back down, just kind of roll that over. but not like flat, just kind of rolled. So, as you can see, we created a nice little edge channel for the wire to roll in. So we're just going to pull that nice and tight. Take our, I'm using 24 uh, gauge wire right now for this particular one. Uh, I like the 24 better than the 22. Uh, 22 I think is too big of a hole, but I just have run into problems trying to get it uh, into the 1 16th inch uh, hole of the uh, insulators. Okay. Now what we're going to do is kind of start to roll it. Get the whole thing started. And just keep rolling. Remember you're shooting for quantity, not quality. No, 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 I'm just joking. Quality, not quantity. Once we get this all nicely rolled, nice and tight on the wire, now we can go ahead and throw our pre-bend in. Now you find the center of it, kind of grab the two and pull it together. So that's the center. Pretty easy, there's not really too much you got to do to this kind of roll it just back and forth a little bit to, to wear the stainless steel into being conformed with the way I want it. There, once I got it exactly about the shape I want it, it's about like that. All I gotta do is release it just pull the wire right out. Now it still maintains its nice pre-bend. It's not kinked. Looks nice and pretty. Okay, now let's go ahead and temper it. 
there's many different ways to do this. Um, I like actually starting off with uh, water, heat from a butane. This is one of those windless. Hopefully it's got liquid still in it. You do this until it gets red hot, then quench. Blot dry. How much fluid I got in this? I'm almost empty. Figures. Start a video with the right tools, okay? Red hot again. Quench. Plot dry. Do it one more time. If I can do it one more time. Red hot, quench. Okay. Now, here's where I kind of alter just a little bit. After I've done this, take a little PG, VG, regular. This is uh, 80 20 PG, VG. And I soak the area that I'm going to, that I'm working on. I uh, just kind of let it burn. Do the same thing, and then what I'm just going to do is let it dirty up the uh, stainless steel. Get it red hot again. Quench. Blot dry. Do it one more time with the PGVG. Light it back on fire. Oops, sorry. Kind of run it through the flame a little bit until it starts to turn red. There you go. Now that I've got it all nice and red, notice how it kind of takes on that pre shape. Very nice. A little horseshoe shape. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and wrap our coil. Now, to do this, I usually take a straight pen. Um, I don't recommend fishing it out of scalding water, but you know, hey, teach their own. I, I put the straight pin in here, and then I'll take my wire, I'll do five wraps. One, two, Three, four, and five. And I've got five wraps on there. I push the wraps together. They're kind of close and tight. And at this point, I just slide it up, pull this off, and slide it up to the area that I've been working on. Put it right in the center. So you guys wondered how I get my coils all so pretty. Well, now you know my secret.
So now we have our coil. Let me get that a little closer so you can actually see. Oh, this isn't focus auto focusing, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, got the coil on here. Now at this point, I'll just go ahead and drop it into uh, the Scooby Gen, and then uh, go ahead and hook up the wires, clip the excess, and then I'll pulse test fire it until the whole coil's glowing red. And then at that point, once I'm satisfied it's glowing red, then I'll saturate it, um, hit it a couple more times, let it run dry, make sure the coil's still burning red, then I'll saturate it again, fill my tank, and that's it. I'm done. Uh, okay, I hope this has uh, been helpful to the few or the many, whichever <laughs> it subscribes to. So you guys have a great day, and I hope this uh, helps with the harsh and nasty tastes that you guys are experiencing. Scuba Bat Dan out.